Hi guys. Um, so I've been seeing a lot of comments. Yes, I do see your comments, guys. <laughs> um, I've been seeing a lot of comments with people like bringing up my child neglect charge. And so I figured this is a good opportunity to help clear the air. Hold on. Yeah, guys, so I want to clear up the air about all my chart, well, more so my child neglect one, because that's, like, the only one people really care about, which I guess is a good thing, because I thought my other ones were kind of far worse, but no, actually, my child neglect one had the most effect on me, so I'll go ahead and clear it up. So, let's start with my first arrest. My first arrest was in, like, 2019. Um, basically, what happened, I was living in Tallahassee at the time, this was when I was at FAMU, and I was in a same-sex relationship. This this kind of goes into my second arrest. So I was in a same-sex relationship, um, and the woman I was dating, she was in Tampa at the time. So I was in Tallahassee, and she was in Tampa, like where I was away. So I would kind of think, I would go back and forth from Tallahassee to Tampa to go see her. And so in this instance, it was kind of like spontaneous, like I. So, I, when I was at Fanny, I had an alcohol problem. I mean, I've always kind of had an alcohol problem, <laughs> fortunately. Um, so, I was, like, I was drinking some Hennessy, like, during this class and all that. So, literally, I probably had, like, gotten out of class, and I was on the phone with the woman. And she was, like, not feeling well, whatever the case was. And I was, like, Mrs., like, lesbian wife over here. And I'm, like, oh, I'll come help you and be there for you. So my drunk ass, like, got everything. Yeah, my dog too. I packed everything as much as I could, like whatever, however long I'm gonna be there by the weekend, a few days. I took Dutch and everything. I guess the idea was I was gonna leave Dutch at my, here, my grandparents' house, and then go and stay with her where she was staying, like, she was staying in like, what? Newport Ritchie. And so yeah, so basically, on the I was already drunk. Yeah, I was drinking some Hennessy, and then on the way here, on the on the drive back, like I was pretty tipsy, and and then like on the like basically when you travel from Tallahassee to like anywhere down south, it's like not a lot of things. You know, it's like random houses, like little country stores, like kind of like. Just like, there's not much there, you know? So I happened to like stop by a gas station and I was like, oh, bet. So when I stopped by the gas station, I bought me like this, those little like alcohol drinks, you know, kind of like a Four local type, but it wasn't Four Loco. I think it was like those iced teas, whatever. So that kind of did it for me because I guess on the way when I kept driving, someone said that I almost swerved into them. And then, I don't know, I guess I had the pee, so I pulled over into an O'Reilly's. 
and that same car pulled over and they're like, hey, you know you almost hit us or something? And I was like, oh, really? And I just like went to the bathroom, peed, and when I came out, there were cops there. And they arrested me. <laughs> they asked me to breathe, but I didn't breathe. So Dutch ended up going, this is like, fuck, what was the city called? This was like a, like a small ass city in between Tallahassee and Tampa. And they took my dog, guys. So Dutch went to like a fucking pound or whatever the fuck they had him in, like a field. And so when I got out of jail, like the next two days, I had to go like look for Dutch in these like fields and like they weren't answering my calls. And I was like, where the fuck is my dog? Yeah, so me and Dutch both went to jail, y'all. So anyways, long story short, I did plead guilty to that one. My charges were the DUI, driving recklessly, it was resisting, which I don't remember resisting. I was just kind of like, it's like, uh, probably like scared. And then the third one was because I didn't blow. So then a few months later, um, I get arrested again because I'm like in this toxic relationship with this woman. And I was basically like obsessed with her and I was like all up in her shit. And like she wasn't answering my call, so I like pulled up to her house and I was like, like bitch, like open the door for me. And she was opening the door for me and I was just like kind of insisting, kind of like being crazy basically. And she ended up calling the cops on me, long story short, I got arrested for trespassing. And then a couple days before that, we had gotten to an argument and I broke her phone. So it just so happened when I was getting arrested for trespassing, she also told the cops that I broke her phone. So they arrested me for um, damage of a property. Oh, criminal mischief of a whatever, a thousand dollars, I think that was, and then the trespassing. So then, boom, I did probation. I did probation for both the DUI and the the second charge of criminal mischief and trespassing. I did like a year of probation. Um, my license ended up getting suspended for the DUI because I never did like the classes on time and stuff. So yeah, so then the third one, fast forward to like 2021, 20, I think, it was like a December, and I was like drinking, me and my mom went to like, we were drinking, we went to like downtown with my sisters and stuff, and then after downtown, we were going to go to her boo's house with his family and like continue like to party over there, I guess. This was when I just had Max. Max is probably a few months old, maybe like five months or something, six months. Yeah. And so I got really drunk. We were drinking Hennessy. I got really drunk. This was in Newport. Yeah, like I don't fuck with Newport Richie. I've gotten arrested twice in Newport Richie. So basically I like blacked out and was like walking around with Max and stuff. So I guess when I blacked out, in the midst of me blacked out, like Max had pooped. And like so everyone was like trying to help me like change a diaper. And I, I'm like obviously traumatized from like sexual abuse. So I was like, you know when you're drunk, you like step into your childhood trauma. And I was like, no, no, we can change her. And so because I didn't want anyone to change her, like I walked away from the party. I was like walking around the neighborhood or something with Max and it was cold outside. Um, and yeah, apparently there was a lake and we were like walking near the lake and I was just like running away from everyone and like, my mom was trying to help and I was saying like, get away from me, I'm gonna kill you, like if you grab Max or something. Yeah, it was crazy. So clearly like some consciously, I just don't fuck with my mom, like look at that. So yeah, so I ended up, um, so I was like really obviously irrational and like, you know, erotic. And so they called the cops and they arrested me and it was so scary. That's why I'm like a super advocate for not drinking when you have kids because, especially if you don't know how to drink like me, because imagine being blacked out and then you wake up in like a fucking jail and your baby's missing. You're like, so I was just like, I remember I was still like blacked out drunk, but I was like kind of like, where, where's my baby? Like in a fucking movie, I was like, where's my baby? Oh, where's my baby? What happened to my baby? I had no idea what happened to Max. I didn't know if I fucking threw her in the lake. I didn't know if I lost her. I didn't know if I dropped her. I didn't know if I unalived her. I don't know what I did to Max, but thankfully Max was saved. Um, she was with my the family, with my family, and yeah. And then after that, I had a CPS case for like a month. They would come drug test me. I have a medical marijuana card, but so they're just more so testing me so I wasn't drinking. And I think even like 
I think they said it was okay to drink, but I couldn't drink alone because I think I ended up drinking and I tested positive. But yeah, so highly recommend don't don't get fucked up when you have a baby because that shit is scary. And yeah, and I've been sober for a year for a year now, over a year now. Jets has never smelled alcohol in my breath. <laughs> He's never had to deal with me in probation. Thankfully, like right when I was like, getting really, really pregnant, like I was already pregnant, but you know, like my belly wasn't that big. But thankfully all that, I did all my probation for like the other charges. And then by the time I was like super pregnant, I was already done with everything. I brought jets into the world. I don't have no more criminal stuff. I don't have to show up to fucking probation officers and stuff. So yeah, me and Max have had it rough, like, <laughs> me and Max, like, that's my girl. Like, it's she, like, your firstborns go through everything with you, because Max has, like, gone through a lot with me. So yeah, like, I, I would have to, like, I would have no one to watch it, so I'd literally have to go to, like, the probation office with her. And, like, I remember this one time, this probation officer was like, I don't recommend you do that, because you know there's, like, pedophiles in here. And I was like, ma'am, like, I don't have anyone else to watch her. Like, I don't want to bring her here either. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, stay away from alcohol, guys. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I hope I clear something up. And the charge... And the child neglect one did. So the first one I was guilty, DUI, the criminal mischief and all that because it was a felony. I did the program, it got dropped. I did the probation and stuff. And then the third one, the child neglect got dropped too. So take what you want with that, but yeah, the last two are dropped. So I only have I only have one um, guilty charge. So yeah guys, so my word of advice is follow God, do not be in no same sex relationship. <laughs> Be straight, follow God, and stay sober. I mean, you could drink wine, like Jesus drank wine, but like, if you are emotional like me, and anything puts you off the edge, and you're super sensitive, and just don't know how to control your liquor, just don't risk it. Don't do it, don't do it. Cause that was the thing with me, like I would be drinking like casually, like good moderation, and then out of nowhere, bitch, like, the demon takes over me and I just start like downing alcohol and it's down from there and then I wake up all pissy drunk or fucking crazy Max is missing like no yeah, I just hope that clear the air do what you will with it mm, bye